Handy Hudson Knight here. I'm going to show you how to work with time zones in Google, particularly Google Calendar, which will also affect the time in Gmail and other Google products. It's easy to do. I'll show it to you right after this. If you do a lot of traveling or if you're working in business with multiple time zones, it can be tricky to be able to schedule appointments or calls in the time zone that you're working in versus the one you're living in, or if you do a lot of traveling where you currently are. And in Google Calendar, it's simple to be able to change the time zones. So as an example, I'm going to show you appointments that I have, but these are in Eastern time zone in the United States, and I'm currently in the Pacific time zone. So what if I want to change these to my time zone? All you have to do is come up here to the settings cog, click on settings, and here you will see your language and region. Make sure this is updated to your correct location, the date format you want, the time format you want. Now down here under time zone, this is where we make this change. And as you can see, the primary time zone is Eastern time zone, or uh, the time in Indianapolis. Let's say I want to change that, and I want to have the time zone be to Pacific time zone. So all I have to do is I'm find the Pacific time zone here. Here's the Pacific time zone. So now, if we go back to our calendar, You'll notice my appointments are now in the Pacific time zone. They were at 2 o'clock before, now they're here at 11, which is concurrent with my location. Google also allows you to set up two different time zones and display them simultaneously. Just check here where it says display secondary time zone. Make sure to change this second secondary time zone to the one that you want. Well, let's just use Tell City, Indiana for this example. So that is not now changed. I have this check display second time zone. Come back to our calendar, and you can now see this other column that shows the time in that particular area, which is central time in the United States. On the right is your primary, which is Pacific time. If you go back to the settings, you can also have this check. This is checked by default where it says ask to update my primary time zone to current location. So if you're traveling from let's say the Pacific to the Eastern time zone when you arrive there and you turn on your laptop and open up Google Calendar a box will pop up and prompt you asking you if you want to change it to the current time zone and you can either agree to change it or not. So working with time in Google Calendar and in the Google products is very simple. You just change it here in the calendar settings. So this is how you do it. I hope this has been helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudson Knight, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And I'll see you in the next video.